Okay. So are you all able to see the slides of renewable source of energy? Tell me. Are you all able to see this renewable source of energy? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, so good evening once again. Now we will start studying regarding the renewable source of energy. Or also we call this energy as the non-conventional sources of energy. Non-conventional sources of energy. So from now on, you all should not have doubt regarding the conventional sources of energy, which is the non-renewable sources of energy and the non-conventional sources of energy, which is the renewable sources of energy. So from now on, don't get confused in this part. Okay. So now what are all the renewable sources of energy or the non-conventional sources of energy? So in that part, if you see, we have the solar. Okay. We have the various parts of like wind, biomass, hydroelectricity. So these are the these are the renewable sources of energy. So in this particular part, if you see in the renewable sources of energy, if you see in our India, we have we already talked, I told you all about that. In the energy production, in the energy production, 51 percentage, 51 percentage of energy is produced by coal. Okay. And the leftover part, leftover that is the 49 percentage is energy is being produced by the renewable sources of energy. Being produced by the renewable sources of energy. So in that particular part, if you see, like see, we know that renewable sources of energy since it can be renewed and it won't be finishing. Like if you see the solar energy, so solar energy means it we are getting this solar energy from the sunlight. So it won't be, it won't be finishing till the million, million years. Okay. So that's why we call this the renewable sources of energy. So in this part, if you see, like we have a solar energy. So in this particular part, if you see out of 49% in the renewable sources of energy, we generate power. So in that we, if we generate the power in that, if you see, we have, sorry, 39% uh, is being produced by the renewable sources of energy. So in that we have the solar energy, large hydro power plant, we have the wind, we have the biomass and the small hydro electricity plant. Okay. In that we have the 34 percentage energy is being produced by the solar and the large hydro power plant 30 percentage. Okay. So in our country in India, if you see, we have taken various steps like we have taken international solar alliance we have taken steps for the international solar alliance nowadays we know that nowadays we know that our our earth our earth we are having the global warming and that global warming we are having that is because of the all this energy production from the coal uh, because of the non renewable resources which are producing like uh, smoke production is there smoke production is there like we have the various various hazardous substances from this production okay so that's why we are moving on for the renewable sources of energy which can be renewed and also which can which will not affect the our earth which will not affect our earth so that's why we are using the renewable sources of energy and if you see regarding the our indian part we had taken the resolution that till 2027 okay we had taken the resolution that till 2027 we will be using 57 percentage okay that energy production the 57 percentage of energy production will be used by the renewable sources of energy like here we see the 51 percentage consists of the coal but instead of this 51 percentage this will come down and we will be we will be improving in the renewable sources of energy. So till 2027, we have taken that 57 percentage of energy production will be done by the renewable sources of energy. Okay. And then we have planned that till 2030, we'll, we'll go on for the 68 percentage of renewable sources of energy. And we have remember this about, about the 2017. Remember about the 2017, our India has taken decision that India will become the carbon free. Okay. India will become 
कार्बन फ्री मीन्स वाट द कार्बन नेट एमिशन बिकम जीरो कार्बन नेट एमिशन वी बिकम जीरो ओके एंड रिगार्डिंग दिस क्वेश्चन हैव कम इन द एग्जाम्स सो इंडिया हैज टेकन डिसीजन दैट इंडिया विल बी इंडिया विल हैव द कार्बन नेट एमिशन ओके सो इन दैट इट विल बी जीरो जीरो सो रिमेम्बर दिस पार्टिकुलर पॉइंट कार्बन नेट एमिशन इज वॉट लाइक वील हैव सम फ्रॉम द कोल ऑल्सो बट वाट विल यू हैविंग लाइक टू टू कम ओवर दीज थिंग्स वाट विल डू वील बी Doing the afforestation, we will be taking some various steps for the for neutralizing the net emission. Okay, so for this for this net emission, like net emission will be zero, and remember that 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 is not that we will be not producing energy by the coal. We will be also producing, but instead of that, we will be taking some various steps like afforestation. So we will be taking some steps to make this net emission as a zero. Okay. So in this, if you see, India power generation ha happens by coal 51 percentage, and by the renewable sources of energy 39 percentage, and by the nuclear energy we have the 2 percentage, and by the lignite, okay, low grade coal 3 percentage, okay. So this is how we are having the power generation in our Indian part. Now we come come about the solar energy. So in this solar energy, if you see, just leave over this solar energy part. we know that in our total electricity generation in our india in india total electricity generation this is the data of the 2024 okay it is happening 4.52 point sorry 452.6 and gigawatt okay and in that out of this 452.6 and gigawatt we are we are producing energy from the renewable sources of energy that is 201. Four five gigawatt. Okay, so in, from that we are producing the renewable sources of energy. So how we can say that nearby the like nearby we can see if we take nearby forty six point three percentage of energy, forty six point three percentage of energy electricity is being produced by the renewable sources of energy. So in this in this renewable sources of energy, if you see the solar energy. Out of this forty-six, the solar energy is being produced ninety point. Then the wind energy we have forty-seven point three six gigawatt. So remember that, like questions, if being asked, they won't be asking this ninety point seven five. This they won't be asking in numbers. They might ask for the arrangement. So maximum in the renewable sources of energy, the maximum electricity is being produced that is by the solar energy. Okay. So remember this particular point. Okay. So that is by the solar energy. Then after that we have by the wind. After that we have by the hydro electricity production. Okay, hydro power plant. So this is regarding this particular electricity. And if you see, India ranks fourth in the globally renewable sources of energy production. The energy production which we are doing by the renewable sources. So in that India ranks fourth. So remember this particular point also. So now in this particular point, if you see. Like how we are producing the solar energy, how in this particular point there is some other terms also. So that also we will discuss in the class. So now we come to the come to about the solar energy. So now in this solar energy, if you see in the solar energy we have this state rank. Okay. So in the state rank in the solar energy, if you see the maximum solar energy being produced in the Rajasthan area. Okay. Just see this map. maximum solar energy is being produced by the rajasthan and we have we have planned that by 2030 we'll have the 500 gigawatt renewable sources of energy production okay the energy production will be from the renewable sources that will be 500 gigawatt in 2030 so in the state tank regarding solar energy we are studying so in that if you see the rajasthan out of like 90.75 gigawatt we talk So out of this ninety point five gigawatt, we have twenty nine point nine eight gigawatt in the Rajasthan. So remember this order. Then next we have in the Gujarat twenty nine point five two. Then next we have in the Tamil Nadu twenty three point seven zero, and next we have the in the Karnataka twenty two point three seven gigawatt. So remember this order. First we have the Rajasthan, Gujarat, Tamil Nadu, then the Karnataka. Just remember this order. Don't remember this these numbers. So this is regarding the 
solar energy production. Now, if you see regarding the solar energy, regarding the renewable sources of energy, we saw that India ranks fourth globally. Globally. So now, if you see regarding the solar energy, India ranks third. Okay, so India is the third largest producer of the solar energy. And we know that if we are talking about the solar energy, so solar energy is the energy that we get from the sun. Okay, and this sun, we know that sun is having the enough amount of heat. So it won't be finishing, it won't be exhausting. So we get enough energy from the sun that it could meet up our power demands. Okay, and that will happen only if we harness it properly. So how we are absorbing these energies? Like, like we know that for drying cloths or like for the for the process of photosynthesis, we use the solar energy. So solar energy is used in the various ways. Okay. So now in this solar energy, how is solar energy is being produced? So remember that for the production of solar energy, we need the this for this photovoltaic cell. So if we don't have this photovoltaic cell, then we won't having the formation of solar energy the production of solar energy can't be happening so in the photovoltaic cell this this photovoltaic cell it is made up of the in this photovoltaic cell we have the silicon and the germanium okay the maximum amount in this photovoltaic cell we have the silicon and also some parts of the germanium we have in this part particular photovoltaic cell so if some questions is being asked that photovoltaic cell is made up of what so remember that we have the silicon and germanium okay and these are what these are the semiconductors so these photovoltaic cells are made up of semiconductors okay in which we have the n type layer p type layer no need to know but remember that this silicon and germanium these are the semiconductors and what happens this particular suppose if traps the energy now whatever it will trap the energy and these energies this sunlight rays will start moving towards the electrons okay free electrons and after it what will happen these will meet these will meet together and when it meets this negative terminal and after sorry positive terminal then after it we have the this production okay so now it know that how energy is produced just remember that it is being produced that is because of presence of the photovoltaic cell okay and photovoltaic cell is made up of the semiconductors that is the silicon and the germanium okay so in this photoelectric cell, this method converts the sun's energy into the electricity. So here how we can say that it is converting this particular solar energy into the mechanical energy. So here these cells are the silicon based pieces of materials that absorb the sunlight. And when the sunlight enters the cell, it causes the electrons to move. When sunlight will enter that time, it will cause the electron to move. And the ele these electrons move in certain directions, which is known as the current. And then after that, we have the production of current okay so remember about this silicon and the germanium base okay so in this regarding the solar energy production we had already talked so what all those stress if you arrange according to the descending order so we have the rajasthan we have the gujarat we have the karnataka we have the tamil nadu and then we have the maharashtra okay and one more confusion like we were talking about these states this this state rank, this state rank, it is regarding this particular part of the renewable energy. There we have the maximum production in these states and this particular part, it is regarding the solar energy production. Okay, Rajasthan, Gujarat, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and the Maharashtra. Okay, so this is regarding all this particular point of the solar energy. Okay. Then we have the various solar solar power park in India. So what are all those solar power park in India? We have Bhadla solar power park, Pavagada solar power park in Karnataka, Kurnul in Andhra Pradesh. Then we have the NP Kunta that is in also in the Andhra Pradesh, Riva, Madhya Pradesh, Chiranka solar power park, Gujarat, Kamuthi solar power park, Tamil Nadu, Anandapur, Parmu, Andhra Pradesh. Gallivari Solar Power Park, Andhra Pradesh, Mandasu Solar Farm, Madhya Pradesh. So in this particular point, don't remember about everything. Just you all must know that in the Rajasthan, we have the maximum production of the solar energy. Okay. And remember about this particular place of the Madhya Pradesh, Riva and the Mandasur. Remember these 
two places more. Mostly remember this Mandasu solar farm, okay, where we have the solar energy production. So that is regarding the solar energy. Now we'll come to the next part that is the wind energy. So regarding the wind energy, we know that in wind energy is the kinetic energy. Okay. So questions have been asked regarding this energy, like during the formation of wind energy. In the wind energy, which type of energy do we have? So remember that we have the kinetic energy. And this kinetic energy is only being changed into the kinetic energy is being changed into the mechanical energy. So remember in the sorry electrical energy. So remember this particular part. Kinetic energy is associated with the movement of atmospheric air. Okay, and there we'll have the generation of electricity. Okay, so remember the kinetic energy we have in the wind energy. Okay, so in this particular point, if you see, India is the fourth largest country of the wind energy production okay and where are these areas where are the areas we are finding this wind energy mostly if you'll see in the southern parts then in some parts of the western and the northwestern parts will be finding the wind energy production okay so in this particular part if you see we have the five nations okay germany usa denmark spain and the india these particular five countries these particular five countries account for the 80 percentage of the world's installed wind energy capacity. Okay, so these five countries remember and India is the fourth largest country in the wind energy production. Okay, so now in this particular point, how, what are all those wind energy rank countries if you see the first stage, the first state is the Gujarat, then we have the Tamil Nadu, then Karnataka, then Rajasthan and then Maharashtra. Okay, so remember about this part also. Okay, and how this is working? See, wind turbines will move. Wind turbines will move. Okay, when, when the wind turbines will move, what will happen? It will move the it will form the mechanical energy. Okay, and this energy will be produced and it will, it will be moving to the transformer by the buried cables, and from there we have the production of energy. Okay, so this is regarding the wind energy. Okay, so now we'll come to the hydroelectric power. In this hydroelectric power, remember that we know that this hydroelectric power, it is being produced in the area of where we have the dams. Okay, there we'll find the hydroelectric power or in the area like even in the running water, even in the running water, we can have the hydroelectric power production. Like how? Like by fixing the run of river project means what run of river project means what like fixing the turbine only turbine by fixing the turbine in the river parts where the speed of water is high so there we'll have the hydroelectric power production okay and hydro power is the cheapest and the cleanest source of energy cheapest and the cleanest source of energy but because of the creation of dams we have some problems like in theory like in theory if you see so because of the building creation of this Terry Dam, we had to replace various settlements. Like we had to shift one village itself from this Terry. So we, we are also facing some important problems because of this building of dams. Okay. So India has totally 197 hydropower plants. Okay. And in that, in 1897, electricity was commissioned in the Darjeeling. So the first electricity production by the hydropower we had in the Darjeeling. Then in 1902, we have in the Shiva Samudam in the Karnataka area. Then in this hydropower production, in this hydropower production, we have divided this hydropower production into some parts. Okay. So in that APC, hydropower projects are generally categorized in two segments, small and the large, but in India we have in the three segments. Okay. So micro, mini and the small. So that hydro projects will be up to 25 megawatt station. So less than 25 megawatt if we have that is the small and then mini will be 100 kilowatt to the 2 megawatt and the micro will be the up to the 100 kilowatt. And who will be regulating these bodies and mega we have that is the hydro projects with the installed capacity of more than 500 megawatt and thermal will be having the more than 1500 megawatt okay so now who will be seeing over all these regulations of this hydropower electricity 
हाइड्रो पावर प्रोडक्शन इफ यू सी दैट इज द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ पावर गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ओके सो इन दैट दैट विल बी चेकिंग ऑन ऑल दिस हाइड्रो पावर प्रोडक्शन ओके एंड द स्मॉल हाइड्रो पावर विल बी सीन आफ्टर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ न्यू एंड द रिनेबल एनर्जी ओके सो दिस इज रिगार्डिंग द हाइड्रो पावर प्रोडक्शन ओके सो नाउ इन दिस इफ यू सी इन द हाइड्रो पावर इंडिया इज द फिफ्थ ग्लोबली फॉर द इंस्टॉल हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिक पावर कैपेसिटी सो इंडिया रैंक फिफ्थ ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड ओके एंड इफ यू सी इंडिया इंस्टॉल इक्विटी स्केल हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी कैपेसिटी वॉज फोर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट विच इज अल्व पॉइंट थ्री परसेंटेज ऑफ द पावर जनरेशन कैपेसिटी सो दीज नंबर यू नो इट रिमेंबर जस्ट रिमेंबर दैट इंडिया इज द फिफ्थ इंडिया इज रैंकिंग फिफ्थ इन द हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिक पावर कैपेसिटी रिमेंबर दिस पार्टिकुलर पॉइंट रिगार्डिंग द हाइड्रो पावर एंड इफ यू सी इन द हाइड्रो पावर जनरेशन वी नो एट इन ऑल दोज एरिया वेयर वी हैव दिस डैम्स देर विल बी हैविंग द हाइड्रो पावर सो इफ यू सी इन द नॉर्थ एंड ईस्टर्न स्टेट्स नॉर्थ एंड नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न स्टेट्स वी हैव द मैक्सिम हाउ हाइड्रो पावर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी जनरेशन ओके अरुणाचल प्रदेश अरुणाचल प्रदेश हैज द लार्जेस्ट अनएक्सप्लोइटेड हाइड्रो पावर पोटेंशियल ऑफ फोर्टी सेवन जीगावाट ओके एंड द फॉलोड बाई उत्तराखंड सो रिमेंबर दैट फर्स्ट वी है अरुणाचल प्रदेश देन सेकेंड वी है उत्तराखंड ओके एंड मोस्टली दिस हाइड्रो पावर प्रोडक्शन वी हैव इन द एरिया ऑफ दिस इंपॉर्टेंट हिमालयन रिवर्स इंडस गंगे इंडस गंगा एंड द ब्रह्मपुत्रा सो रिमेंबर अबाउट दिस पार्टिकुलर पॉइंट नाउ लाइक इन द हाइड्रो पावर प्रोडक्शन वी नो दैट हाइड्रो पावर प्रोडक्शन विल बी है बिकॉज ऑफ द क्रिएशन ऑफ डैम ओके so we have talked about the koina dam we have talked about the rana pratap sagar dam we have talked about the rana pratap we have talked bhakra nangal dam we have talked okay in that we have not talked about the jawahar sagar dam okay so remember that we have one important dam that is the jawahar sagar dam jawahar sagar dam which is on the bank of chambal river which is on the bank of chambal river and this particular jawahar sagar dam is in the rajasthan okay so this is regarding the hydro power now we come to the next part that is the geothermal energy so in this geothermal energy if we see in this geothermal energy we have this particular like how geothermal energy is being produced like if we see or in the interior of the earth okay in the interior of the earth because of the presence of radioactive substances because of the presence of radioactive substances and we saw that these radioactive substances are volatile in nature okay and because of high energy in this particular part we have the production of heat okay we have the production of heat in from the interior of the earth okay and from that we generate electricity so that electricity generation is known as the geothermal energy okay so below the earth crust there is a layer of hot and molten rock called magma and heat is continuously produced in this layer okay and mostly from the decay of naturally radioactive materials okay so what are all those radioactive materials we have the uranium potassium okay so from because of that only we have the production of heat inside the earth because of the radioactive materials and we from that we can also generate electricity we can generate energy and that is that generation is known as the geothermal energy and from this if you see resources falls into the three major category that is the geo pressurized zone hot rock zones hydrothermal convection zones so in this particular point like we have the geysers okay so geysers hot springs lava fountains these are all those hydrothermal convection zones okay so from which we can generate electricity okay so now in this if you see like we have the various geothermal energy production in india in india if you see if you see what important place is there that place name is what that place name is the manikaran if you see regarding the manikaran sorry manikaran remember this particular place name manikaran which is in the himachal pradesh which is in the himachal pradesh this place is very famous for the production of energy by the heat of earth okay so here if you see in the area of if you see in the puga valley of ladakh there also we have the geothermal energy production but the most famous name is the manikaran that is in the himachal pradesh remember this 
and india has seven geothermal provinces like in the himalayan region swana west coast gulf of kambe gujarat area in the godavari in the mahanadi basin so narmada tapi okay so there we have this geothermal springs okay the geothermal springs we have in that area but from the inside the earth we are producing energy from at the place of manikara okay then if you see in 2013 also chatisgarh government government has decided to establish the geothermal power plant in the place at the tata pani okay but still now it has not come in news that we have established then in the first geothermal power project that was launched in ladakh in 2022 okay and these particular geothermal power projects if you see in the map like see here we have this tunga valley in the ladakh manikaran in the himachal pradesh okay there we have then suhana area nearby the delhi area then in the gulf of kambe area gulf of khambat we have the various geothermal energy production areas then here in the parts of the krishna godavari basin in the mahanadi basin okay there we have the geothermal production then in the we talk about the tata pani tata pani in the chatisgarh so there also we have the geothermal energy production okay so these are the important places where we have the geothermal energy production so we have finished talking about all these parts now in these parts like some important point i want to talk i will talk about the some places regarding the thermal energy production like we are producing energy by the coal so that is what thermal energy production so some places names i will talk so in this some places names we know that we were talking about the nei valley okay so remember that nei valley place name so this is most important for this thermal energy ram gundam okay ram gundam place in the andhra area sorry in the telangana area there we have the thermal energy production so only these two are important okay others uh, everything we have studied okay so now in this particular point if you see like we'll see about regarding the nuclear energy production this is the most important part okay nuclear energy production how are we having the nuclear energy production so in the nuclear energy production if you see we know that these nuclear energy production are happening because of the uranium because of the uranium because of the some radioactive materials okay so how do we produce the nuclear energy we produce energy from the by using some materials that is the elements that is the uranium then another is the thorium and in this also we use the heavy water heavy water so from these three things by using these three things we produce this nuclear energy so this nuclear energy production we have some various power stations so these nuclear power stations are at which places so what are all those places names if you see we have some various places so the oldest nuclear power energy production if you see we have in the tarapur okay so tarapur it is in the maharashtra area so remember the oldest nuclear power reactor we have at this particular tarapur in the region of maharashtra then the second one if you see we have the rawat bhata atomic power station second we have the rawat bhata atomic power station and rawat bhata atomic power plant was set up in goa by the cooperation with the canada canada other other plants we have like we have the we have one in up that is the narora station and this particular narora is in the why we are talking this important about this important places because from this questions have been asked okay so remember this narora it is in up then fourth one we have fourth one we have that is the kakrapara atomic power station in the gujarat area near by the surat kakrapara in gujarat near the surat area we have this atomic power stations okay fourth one this then we have the fifth one you all would have heard the name of kundan kulam in tamil nadu okay kundan kulam nuclear power plant so we know that 
This is in Tamil Nadu. And this Kundangal nuclear power plant, it was set up by the cooperation with Russia. So by the cooperation of Russia, it was set up in Tamil Nadu. Okay. So where this Kundangal nuclear power plant, it is in the Tirna Valley district. Tirna Valley district of Tamil Nadu. Then the sixth one we have that is the Kaiga. We know that in Karnataka, there is a place named that is the Kaiga. In Karnataka, there we have this particular, particular thermal power station, sorry, nuclear power station. Okay. So these are important power stations in parts of India. Now we know that for this, for this production of nuclear energy, we also need the heavy water. So we have some various heavy water plants also. Okay. So heavy water plant is not of that much important, but we must know that for this also we have set up various heavy water plant. Okay. So what is the formula of this heavy water? Remember that the formula of this heavy water is D2O. Okay. Remember D2O. So formula of this heavy water D2O. Remember this particular formula. So this is all regarding the important parts of the nuclear energy. So we have finished talking about this part, all important parts regarding this energy, conventional sources of energy, non-conventional sources of energy, all the important parts we have talked. So now in Indian geography, only the important parts we are left with, that is the agriculture, that is agriculture, and also we are left with the transport and communication. Transport and communication. So these parts will finish up tomorrow.